Boxing Wales and AFL TV with Nathan Cleverley, fresh from your second round stoppage of Sean Corby and your Deborah Cruiserweight here in Cardiff. Nathan, we sat, I think it might have been this exact same room, we sat here mm. nine months ago to the day and it was prob obviously your worst night in boxing and pro yeah, it was probably mine as well but yeah. nine months later here we are, you've changed your training team, you've changed your promoter, you've changed your weight class and you come back with a win. It must be nice just to get back fighting again now. It is, mate. You know, it's, as I said to everyone, it's, it's been nine months now, and that's flown by. Nine months from the probably worst night of my boxing career, really. I lost my world title, my first career defeat in my, you know, my home arena, you could say, in Cardiff. It was, uh, it was a bad night for me, you know, and that was my last fight at light heavyweight. And a lot has changed since then. Um, we're here now, nine months later, in the cruiserweight division, 25 pounds heavier. New trainer, different trainer, um, <laughs> different promotional team. So it's been a lot of changes, but I feel good. You know, I, I feel good at the weight, and it's just good to be back. You know. It's fair to say you're you're different. You're fighting different as well. You slow down a lot, or slow mm. down your output a lot. With yeah. speed of punches, probably round about the same. Mm. But you slow down your output, and you're sitting down on or sitting down on your or trying yeah. to sit down on your punches more. Well, I think I need to now with cruiserweights. He's a big guy, strong guys solid guys um, so the the pity part of, the pity part of shots I'm not gonna work so much against these guys you know because they'll just they'll just power through them so you know try and keep sharp I'll, you know I'll try and keep my my strengths there you know I'll keep my strengths there but at the same time just add a little bit more power you know I've got to now I'm cruise away um, and tonight just sitting down on my legs a bit more bringing in the ox a little bit more solid and every punch tonight, I just I could feel it. I'm an impact on Corbin. You know, his, his chin was up, and I was landing clean. And it was a matter of time. You know, you start to get disorientated, um, and the rest stepped in at the right time. You know, we saved him from from being on the canvas. I think it's fair to say as well. You've gone back to basics in the sense of everything around around you, not in the ring as well, but everything around you, like. You know, your your team is to a minimum now. The people in the changing room are to a minimum. You haven't done much this week, mm. whereas before the Kovalev fight, you were pulled left, right, and centre. Yeah. Do you think that's helped you focus? Yeah. And the, coming into the contender music must help you focus <laughs> yeah. as well. Back to basics, mate. You know, as I said, just it's about getting back to basics now. First career defeat just brings you back to basics and it just simplify things. You know, I, I had a I had a bit of time on my own, decided what I was gonna do. And I decided to simplify things. You know, you can see in the changing room tonight. It's just me, uh, myself, Darren, and Carl, and the uh, you know the the British Boxing Board of Control. Um, and that's it. You know, we we just stripped everything back. No bravado. You know, um, and it's it's working. You know, and it's, it's it's better as well. You know, I'm enjoying it more. I know. When I saw you on the Monday after the Kovalev fight, you were very matter-of-fact about it. Mm -hmm. It seemed like the sadness and the dwelling on it after that, when you had to see people and they had to remind you about it, it seemed that's when you maybe got down in the dumps. Um, huh? Yeah, you know, because you, you're back to reality then, you know. It's, um, it's a bit of a daze initially. Mm -hmm. And when the dust settles, you know, I come back from holiday and, you know, I was like, this is real now. I, you know, I have, actually, I'm not world champion anymore, um, and it's you know, you've got to come to terms with it. And it's difficult. You know, it's difficult. It's um, but you've got to. You know, you've just got to as a as a fighter, as a as a boxer. Ups and downs. It's Life goes on. Sport. It's part of the sport, and sometimes that's the joys of the sport. You know, the the buzz from it. You know, the fact that you've got to climb back to the top. That rocky story is. Uh, it can be a thrill. I know one thing that was said within your team at the time was you don't overreact when you lose mm. and you won't overreact when you win. Mm. Given that Sean Corbin is, is a, you know, he's pretty much a gatekeeper. Mm. If if you're good, you get rid of him. If you don't, you know, if you're not, you don't. Mm. So, you, although you had a very impressive stoppage today, it's fair to say you're not going to get carried away with this. No, no, no way, no way. You know, it's. Uh, I expected to come in tonight and do a number on Sean Corbin. If I'm being honest, you know, but. Uh, I thought it would have gone a bit longer, but you know when I started planting my feet and, and landing those clean shots, so every shot seemed to have an impact. I, you know they felt strong. Um, you know we took Masterneck, the strong European, nine rounds, and tonight I've got him out there in two. I was just warming up, um, so that's you know that's a good sign. You know and he's a big he's a big guy. 
big proper cruiserweight. Um, but so am I now, and um, we're underway. Just great to be underway. Your former, you know, everyone knows this is brewing. You meeting your former opponent Tony Bellew again. He was at ringside, and I noticed you give him a little wink. What did that mean? A little wink to say we're gonna get it on soon. You ready for it, basically? Um, Notice he nodded and smiled back. He kind of nodded, smiled back, and put his fists up just to say yes, let's do it. So I think it's inevitable, really. You know, we're on, we're on collision course. Provided I win the next one or two, Bellew wins his next one or two, and bang. I know there's plans for you to maybe fight in a double header in I think it's eight weeks time. Mm. Do you have any feelings fighting in Liverpool? I know you fought in there three or four. What is it two or three times before? But obviously it's a bit different now, knowing that you know most of those fans are not going to be cheering <laughs> for you. Yeah, it's going to be different from tonight. You know, it's a bit of a contrast. Like tonight was, it was all about me. You know, I had mm. great support, fantastic, fair play to them. The fans is brilliant, and eight weeks time is going to be the total opposite. You know, total opposite end of the scale. I'll, I'll be booed in, booed out, whatever, whatever result. So, but again, part of the business, um, part of the buzz of boxing, part of the adrenaline rush. Let's just do it. When you fight Tony, is it definitely going to be in Liverpool, or is there maybe an option to take it to the MEN? Because um, the fight's going to be a very big one. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's an option. That's an option. Bigger yeah. capacity. Yeah, well. li Liverpool is an option. You know, the Echo again. We had a great fight there first time. You know, fantastic crowd turned out, and I'm sure it'll be the same again. Maybe we'll need a bigger arena. You know, we, we're setting this fight up nicely. He's coming off a KO victory, I'm coming off a KO victory. We're setting it up nicely. You know, this this could be big. This could be big. We, we're going to clash, and we, yeah, we we'll, we could look at that. Last question: level of opposition for your next fight. Are you, is, you know, you don't want to risk it too much because you have a potentially big payday against Tony, but you need someone a bit better than Sean Corbin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no doubt. Bit by bit, now we'll step it up. You know, I'm, fre I'm, I'm fresh to the cruiserweight division. I've got to win my shot now at the world. At, you know, at challenging for the for the big titles. Um, I'm prepared to do that. You know, I've started with Sean Corbin. We'll step it up again for the next fight, and then again, and let's see where it takes us. You know, but I'm I'm gonna, I'm going to give it everything I've got. Congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. And now, uh, well, we'll let you get to the drug testing. <laughs> <laughs>